Do you want a mob farm that is going to give you creepers and skellies and spiders and witches and endermen and zombies as well? Well, I've got a great sweeper system mob farm here that's going to give you loads of mob drops and it's got a nice little AFK platform as well. Don't you go anywhere and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abomance in my farm tutorial series. Now, I'm doing a, another mob farm today, but it's a slightly different one. You may know that I did a sweeper farm a little while ago. It was based upon an idea by Nims TV, and it worked beautifully well. Sadly, it only worked beautifully well up until the end of 1.11. When 1.12 hit, or there or thereabouts, it broke. It stopped working. It was no more. And now in 1.13, you can forget it. At 1.14, not a chance. So that is not any good. The reason you have a sweeper farm is because you want to collect endermen as well as all the other mobs. Now, it doesn't give you XP. I'll grant you it does not give you XP, but it does give you lots and lots of lovely, lovely mob drops. So I am going to do this one, and it has been presented to me by the ridiculously clever Buster the Fox, who is a great little YouTuber, he's done a really good tutorial. I will link his channel in the description below so you can go and have a look at him. So Buster, this is your fella, mate. I'm just gonna put a bit of a spin on it, I hope you don't mind, and I will crack on. You do need quite a lot of stuff for this build, I am gonna be honest with you. So to get the system that gets you up to your AFK platform, you can either create yourself a nether portal that works really well or you can use a water elevator and for the water elevator you're going to need 1280 glass yes you heard it right two buckets of water one soul sand one magma block four signs and 78 structural blocks of your choice and for each of the platforms and pods you are going to need six observers 40 slime blocks four sticky pistons, four redstone dust, two redstone repeaters, sorry, four redstone repeaters, two trap doors, now they could be iron trap doors or they could be wooden trap doors. You're gonna need some sand as well, really just to mark out where you're gonna be doing your drop in. And you're gonna need probably about six stacks each of blue glazed terracotta or any other glazed terracotta for that matter and some more structural blocks. And for the collection system at the bottom, you are gonna need 16 chests and 46 hoppers. Now, the first really important thing you have to know about mob farms is that if you've got anywhere other than your farm that a mob can spawn, it will spawn there and that will take away the efficiency of your farm. So you've got to make sure you've got no other mob spawning anywhere except inside your farm. Now the best way to do that is to go up and go up a lot. A good way to do it is to do it over the ocean and that way you need to go up to about Y190 and you can be fairly sure that only mobs that are in your farm are going to spawn. If you do it over land, you do exactly the same thing. Take it 128 blocks above the land and you will find you are absolutely fine. Now my land is at Y56, which means I've got to go up to Y185 to make sure I've got no mob spawning except for in my farm. So make yourself a little horseshoe because you're gonna to wanna to be able to go backwards and forwards in it, obviously, and pop glass there, 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 there and there, and also there. Then get yourself a sign, shove a sign there, Shove a sign there that says up. Shove a sign there. Shove a sign there that says down. And then in the up section, put yourself some soul sand. And in the down section, put yourself a magma block. Now, yes, to go down, you could just have a hole with water in it here, and that would work beautifully well. But my own personal opinion is it is a lot easier to block. Uh, the water source blocks on the soul sand up if you have an infinite water source that looks like this. So in survival, you collect the middle one, that gives you another water block. Collect the middle one again, gives you another water block. 
this then becomes an infinite water source and you do exactly the same thing bump 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 all the way up until you have got a tower right up to y whatever it is you need to be i shall see you up there when you get to the top y186 or y190 whatever it might be build yourself a nine by nine platform out of any structural block you'd like i've used iron just so you can see the edges dead easy and count them don't use iron it's really expensive that's 78 blocks of iron there don't use iron it'd be daft use stone or wood or something like that and then what i want you to do is i want you to come down and i want you to make yourself a little um water source and you're going to think avo why am i making a water source well i shall tell you dear viewer why you're making a water source in just a second so get yourself your water buckets and shove water buckets in here so as you get yourself an infinite water source like that and that is something you are going to use to fall into because right now i want you to tower up 25 blocks with this being one so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 five blocks now if you lob yourself off of that without something to land in you're gonna die so lob yourself off and land in the water beautiful and then i want you to come up and ladder up all the way back to the top and that is going to allow you to have access to the system one to be able to build it and two to be able to get back up it should you ever need to this is the start of the sweeper proper so now you're at your top of your 25 long drop make yourself a little three by three platform because that gives you enough space to be able to access and do stuff that you might want to do then get a terracotta a glazed terracotta block doesn't matter which glazed terracotta block you get as long as you have a glazed terracotta block and you want to come across from the center of your platform you want to come across 20 blocks this is one two three four blah 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 so that is 20 that is the width of your farm you could make it less wide if you wanted to but if you want the maximum width 20 is good if you want to make it 10 make it 10 if you want to make it 15 make it 15 it's entirely up to you but 20 is as wide as it goes and now you've got another choice you can make this farm relatively long bear in mind the longer you make it the more of this horrible disgusting looking glazed terracotta you're going to have in your world it doesn't have to be this pattern but we all know that all the patterns of glazed terracotta are vile so please please think about how much you want in your life but you can make this perhaps 20 long you can make it 30 long you can make it 10 long it's entirely up to you i'm going to do 20 so it's 20 across i'm also going to do 20 long and i'll be back when i've done that 20 by 20 platform and we have got a 20 by 20 platform right there and looking at these blocks the only blocks that i think are worse than glazed terracotta are polished granite and we all know if you know my channel how much i love polished granite so we're now going to come out one along the side one two and then give ourselves a nice gap all the way along like this we're going to go one one two and we've got kind of that kind of slot bit like that then we're going to come along here we're going to do exactly the same on the other side and we're going to create the same slot and that is the channel down which everything is going to fall so that's perfect come to the end with the big slot and count in a 10 from the end not from the sticky outy bit but from the end so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten bump bump put two temporary blocks now if you've done it less wide which you can so if you did it ten wide you need to count five you've done it eight wide you need to count four so you need the two central blocks and then come out with another two temporary blocks and then shove an immovable block on the end of those get rid of your temporary blocks now this could be a, a furnace but obsidian I find works beautifully 
and before you do anything else make sure you come to the other side do exactly the same thing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and have it in exactly the same place two immovable blocks in the middle and there is a gap of one don't fall down the L there is a gap of one between the edge here and that immovable block now we're going to do some fun stuff we're going to play with flying machines and this is the reason why we put one at each end because if your flying machine goes flying off it can end up at the far lands and off into the distance and you'll never ever see it again so come to your removable object shove a sticky piston on it and then get slime blocks all the way along to the end where that um, hole is don't go there that's not what you want you want it just there and then get yourself a couple of temporary blocks there shove a sticky piston there get rid of those temporary blocks and you are going to put exactly the same way you're going to put slime blocks all the way to the edge like that then you want some temporary blocks again on top of the slime in front of the piston so there and there and you want that too high you can take out the ones underneath because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting an observer block and you're going to shove an observer looking up into that and an observer looking up into that do not get rid of these two blocks yet that is not what you want to do then grab even more of this vile glazed terracotta and shove yourself an edge all the way along leave yourself a hole for now all the way along till you get to there don't put anything along this edge right now get yourself another edge along this side like that that is brilliant i'm very happy with that then get yourself a second edge now this does not have to be glazed terracotta hallelujah this can be any structural block you would like it to be leave your gap come along here and exactly the same on the other side and there there you go so you have got a two high system now if you don't want enderman why you would do a sweeper farm if you didn't want enderman i've got no idea but if you don't want enderman then you can put the roof level on here like that if you wanted you can put the roof level there but surely 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 you do want enderman don't you of course you do so put a third level on you can cover that over now all the way along like that and then the same on this side this will then give you plenty of endermen endermen do like to spawn in here and uh, you don't get as many endermen as you do zombies or creepers perhaps but you do get a decent amount so that is the side walls now we're just going to do a little bit of clever redstone now i say it's clever redstone and it is clever but it's also crazy simple we are going to be getting an observer block that is looking at this block so what happens is it's going to go there like that it's little red bum is pointing out so it's little red redstone fart is going to point away from the farm now when the little face sees this block updated and a block eight update would count as this moving into it and seeing it that's going to let out a little redstone fart and we're going to build up a little system here that will capture that redstone fart and it will put it into that repeater which puts it into that block which puts it into that redstone dust, which puts it into that block, which puts it, right, come around here, into that repeater like that. And what we're gonna do is we're about to release the beast. We're gonna get rid of this block here and that's gonna send our flying machine all the way up the other direction. Are you ready? Let's go. Boom, and off it goes, you can see. So that is now pushing up that way. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves, when it comes back, we're going to get ourselves a little, um, except it's not going to come back, of course, because I've not done the system up that end either. Right, so we're going to try again. So let's put 
little redstone bum there facing us. No, nope, not that trap door. We want stone, stone, stone. That there like that and that there like that. A redstone repeater going into that. A redstone dust going into that, which powers that block, which allows us to suck that out like that. And if I then do that, that sends that back the other way. And when it gets there, when it does get there, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We are then going to put ourselves a trap door on that. And what happens is this observer then sees the trap door flap. And because the trap door flaps, that is an update. And that sends that little fella going off. And then put a trap door in there and off it goes. And you can see that is going to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, as much as you would like. And in fact, it's never ever going to stop. Wait, wait. Goes flap, flap. And off it goes back the other way. And that will go backwards and forwards forever. So now all we need to do is we need to close off the system. Now you need to be very careful with this bit here. Because bear in mind, you are going to have right here, you'll see when the, the sweeper arm comes, you are going to have this slime block here. Look where it comes when it comes out. It comes out all the way to there. And that means that you are going to need to come out so as you capture all of the space that that is potentially going to be in and then come in on this side so you can get in there look you see on the side of the obsidian all the way along to there it also means that under here you're going to have slime blocks coming under there you can see there they go and you're going to need to have the same level of caution and a, a block that isn't going to get stuck with a slime block on the underside like that. There you go. So that will quite happily uh, allow the slime blocks to flow one way and the other. So do exactly the same on this side and I'll be back when that bit's done. And then what you want to do is why not put in a second layer? In fact, you could put in three, four, five, as many layers as you actually wanted because each of these are independent of each other. It doesn't rely on anything pushing stuff up and down an entire track of, uh, of the side like my previous one did. This is, you know, you could do them right up to the build limit if you wanted to. So build yourself another layer that's exactly the same as this layer, at least another one I reckon, just to get max benefits. And uh, I'll be back when I have duplicated this entire layer. Before you close it all up with your roof, you want to make sure you have got a little bit of sand marking out where you want to go. And then probably just to make it easiest, although you can do it by counting as well, come and do it on the inside of here as well. A little bit of sand that shows exactly where the gap is. And then you want to just fill it up. And you can fill it up dead easy. Cobblestone on the top, which stops the light getting in and a slab which stops the mobs from spawning then down on this end as well get yourself cobblestone fill in the hole stops all the light getting in and shove a slab on top to stop any mobs from spawning and here trim it off with a little bit of step just to make it look nice which in itself is laughable given the fact that you've got this glazed terracotta all over the place, but we won't talk about that. Let's just shove a block in there just to make it look, um, even have I done the other one on the other side as well? No, I have not. Just to make it look even, that's great. Now you've got a farm that is potentially ready to work, but there's still light inside. And the reason there's still light inside is because of these bits here. But we're not going to do those yet because we need to do our collection system. So get yourself back down the bottom. <coughs> so we're back down at the bottom. And we know that these sands are representing the very edge of those slits. So we know when stuff falls, they're going to fall here and for 20 rows in that direction. So get yourself a chest next to each of these like that 
then get another one and another one remember to, to shift click into the chest not onto the chest and top so four high on each end like that and then with a hopper remove the sand put a hopper into that a hopper into that a hopper into that and a hopper into that hopper in there do exactly the same on this side hopper into each of these with a shift and a hopper into the side there now this is where I grant you you need a fair bit of iron but we are going to come out another 19 so that one being one we're going to do another 19 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen that gives us a row of 20 hoppers then shove a second hopper into the first one all the way along brilliant and then do exactly the same on this side so you want a row of 19 coming out of here so and finish it off with another one that's perfect and that is all you need for your collection system so we can now finish it off with something that's going to make it work much better so what I want you to do is come up to your platform here and on your stairs on row 17 I want you to just get yourself a second platform and the reason we're doing this is because we want to bridge out a little bit to this other side because we're going to build some small tubes coming out of those holes so if you come along sideways so you can block out using shift click I'm not doing it because I'm flying I'll show you what I mean so if you shift click yourself out like this until you get close enough to be able to start to build around the edges of this hole so shift click around and we're going to be building along the edge of this hole like this and you want to build that nine long so that's one that would be two etc etc until it is nine deep and then repeat the process on the other side and there you've got a finished built system it's not producing anything at the minute because I'm in peaceful because I didn't want stuff to get in my way whilst I was building it but that is just about ready to roll now this platform here is the perfect position away for being able to AFK but you're going to need if you're AFK something to cover you up because those phantoms are going to want to eat your face so we'll just make a little hut quickly so we got ourselves a little fancy pants house that is going to serve beautifully for when we're sitting AFK and it's got a little platform there that you can use if you want to watch the mobs falling out as you go so I'm just going to transfer myself into um, normal mode and we're going to see how that affects the mob spawner I'm going to just sit at around about the same level as the AFK and we're just going to wait and see if anything falls on our heads there we go we got some mobs falling out that end already And we've got more mobs falling out that end already and that will carry on going backwards and forwards lobbing loads of mobs out spiders and creepers and skellies and we'll get witches and there'll be the odd enderman as well which makes it all worthwhile and I think that is a half decent farm so I've gone back into peaceful mode and I have been a FK for maybe 10 minutes eight minutes ten minutes something like that not a lot of time whatsoever we're just gonna have a look and see what ten minutes of AFK in will give you for this farm so in this one chest we've got almost a stack of gunpowder almost a stack of arrows we've got a, almost a stack of bones half a stack of string some rotten flesh we've got some ender pearls already 
So that is looking good. And in the other one, we have had virtually a stack of arrows, some ender pearls, virtually a stack of bones, virtually a stack of gunpowder. So we have had some, these, that's 10 minutes people, 10 minutes. We have had a couple of stacks of several of those mob drops and about a stack of the rest. So that ain't too shabby. And that my friends is one sweeper mob farm that is gonna get you loads and loads of mob drops, more than you could possibly imagine. Pretty impressive stuff, I have to say. Go and check out Buster the Fox for coming up with this idea. Thank you, Buster the Fox, for giving me permission to showcase your idea. I am very grateful. It's a nice one. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them, and I'll keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.